honestly, I'm just working right now. I'm doing a bunch of beats. I'm changing shit. I'm like, I'm getting inspiration from other people. I'm listening. I'm hearing. I can name names about different producers right now that just that just I'm gravitating towards uh, my ears are listening to and pinned to, but I don't want to say in that realm because at the end of the day, pub is pub. So, and I respect all. So at the end of the day, it's like I'm listening, and I haven't lost a step. I'm still nice, quiet as kept, but my artist, Kid Mitty, he's about to come out. My artist that I had prior, Fred Beans, I'm about to put his EP out. I have two more instrumental albums I'm about to drop, In Street Concentration Part 2. And I would call three, but I'm going to change three into something else because it's Climactic that I changed the aura and landscape of what we're doing right now because I've seen what Pete Rock is about to do. I've seen what Primo is doing right now. Um, Alchemist is about to drop Food Villain right now in a, in a matter of weeks, maybe a couple days. Actually, I think in two more days, Food Villain drops. Um, that's my guy, Alchemist. Um, Darringer. I talk to him uh, quite often. Um, like I said, man, I'm out here. Uh, I'm not one of those type of fly-by-night dudes that's not paying homage or I'm not one of those type of dudes that's not listening and I'm not in tune. I'm in tune. I'm hearing everything. I'm in tune. Like I said to you earlier about knots, ski beats, um, people is out here, man. We work it. Everybody's doing what they got to do, man. It's like, it's not no need to advertise. No need. If we're going to advertise, we're advertising what's about to come. So at the end of the day, I don't do pump fakes. But anything I put on my gram is about to happen or I'm involved in or it's really going down. I don't need to post anything on my gram like, oh, look what I'm about to do or, hey, guess what? Nah, I'm not doing that. It's actually happening or it's about to. Simple and plain. But there's new music coming, man. And I would love to say that <laughs> there's an ultra record or a project coming down the pipe, but I'm not going to say that. Whatever comes, comes. Whatever happens, happens. You see, Daylight's working. Right? Jungle Brothers still doing shows. Everybody's working. Like, it can happen. I don't know what's going to happen for 21. Down the line. How this COVID shit is going to work. Because, honestly, I don't see none of us doing any shows right now. No time soon here in the states overseas now nah, might be different i don't know it depends on what protocols that they have and what they're looking at as far as their timelines but i don't know it's 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 very far and few in between it's kind of scary but the money can be made but we have to be smart on how we're doing things you have to be smart on how you market yourself you have to be smart on the product that you're trying to present and put forth digital is not my friend i like digital but it's not my friend i am a person who has to have viable physical content if i don't have a piece of vinyl a cd a cassette in my hand it's not real it's not real I didn't get what I need to get from that artist that digital imprint is cool yeah oh he dropped a digital album great I got it 
but I need that wax, dog. I need that fucking CD. That's the only way I know I got something really from you. Besides your merch. You can kill me on your merch. I'll pay $40 for a shirt, $60 or $100 for a fucking sweat hood. But at the end of the day, if the music sucks, what the fuck is it all for? People are still hitting me on the gram talking about, yo, when you dropping your solo record? And I'm like, dude, I'm 50 years old. Not to say that there's no expiration date on it, but I'll drop an EP or something of whatever I'm feeling at the vibe or at the moment or what I want to say, but I don't know if I'm ready to drop an album right now to tell you what I'm what I'm thinking about, what's on my mind, because it might be too far over your head. Musically, you might fuck, you might fuck with me, but lyrically, I might be too over your head right now, and I don't think you might be ready for what I gotta say right now, dog. We're on we're on the year three thousand, and y'all still playing catch up. The Ultra Lab with the silver wallpaper was a real thing. Everybody and their mother came through the Ultra Laboratory story. Everybody and their mother came through the Ultra Lab. I don't care who you are, who you thought, or who you thought you might have known. Everybody came through the Ultra Lab. Everyone. From rap to R&B. That's all I'm going to say. Because when we were on Uptown Records with the management, Andre and everybody to the house. That's all I'm going to say. You can read between the lines there. To put together this ultra BDP documentary story, it's got to be right, man. It's got to be right and it's got to be done right and it's got to be told in our way, not your way, our way. Because we know what the fuck was happening because we were there. 